What's up, everybody? I'm Sniggenhoff, and we are back once again playing EU4 as Vijanagar. In the last episode, we got the A Tale of Two Families achievement, although there is more that we are going to set out to do. Uh, also, we're almost 100 years into the game. Look at look at where we look at where we are, and look at where we started. Uh, Hamilton reference. Anyways, we're about we're gearing up to go to war with Arissa. I probably need some more manpower. And probably military tech 11. But, you know. We are making a solid amount of money. Where's my... I have gold? I have a gold province? Where's that at? Right there. We just got it. There's another one right here that I can take from Malwa. Interesting. Very interesting. Also, I probably don't need all these forts. How much am I paying for fort maintenance? Five ducats. It's a solid amount of ducats. All right, we're gonna drop this fort. Probably gonna drop this fort. Keep that one. Don't think I need these two right next to each other. And that should I think that zone of control should overlap quite nicely in between those. Same there. Same there. Same there. Just kind of like that line we got going on all the way up. Um. Keep on keeping on over here. A generation of cowards. 13,000 manpower. No thank you. Um, 10 years of minus 5% discipline. I'm not losing 13,000 manpower, so it looks like we're doing that. And I need to spend some more military points. Oh yeah, and I need to give the Nyax some provinces. I was going to do that, but I wanted to assign the states first. Um, military points. I can strengthen government that I don't really need to do, so we are going to develop. Last time I developed here. I mean, I need to not get used to this overabundance of military points. It's going to go away soon. Because I've got a I've got a ruler with zero military coming up. Find that together. Should have two more heavies on the way. Ethiopia is in a golden era. Two years ahead of time. I'm very close to having convert provinces. I'm working on getting religious ideas done. And actually, we should be pretty close to uniting our culture group as well. Yeah, we just need, like, those two provinces, and we'll unite our culture group. And the Duhandri Separatists are getting up there. 2.6 years. I will need to deal with that at some point. But... For now, it's not my problem. Um, any good marketplaces to build? A couple. Some good temples to build, too. And our Maharaja is industrious, giving us goods produced, which is great. I'm about to be able to take another idea. Colonies are progressing. Um, I should be using this dude. Speaking of using things, let me get more claims. I'll make sure I get that claim and hopefully both of these claims. Um, dude, go allies. Unassign these generals. The 
build that point two two one. Some good uh, production buildings to build as well. Missionary strength versus heretics. I don't know if that's gonna. No, that will help us out. We don't have a lot of uh, heathens. No, we do have a lot of heat. We are Hindu. Heretics are chic. Heathens are all the other beliefs. Okay. So we will, it only helps us out against Admonagar. And we still can't convert it anyway. We're sitting at 0%. Native assimilation. Fantastic. And there's a new ruler. And a 411 is the heir to the throne. Uh, do I still take Discipline and Siege ability? I think I might. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I might want. I mean, none of these bonuses are bad. Core creation cost seems great. Aggression expansion impact seems great. Um, actually, if I'm getting ready to go on this war over here, it might not be too bad. Diplo rep, improved relations, trade efficiency, and national taxes, construction costs. I might give this one a try. I don't think it's the best one, probably, but especially running low on admin right now, that admin, uh, that core creation cost reduction could be handy. Now let's start moving these dudes into position. Lock S foils in attack position. I saw a, uh, I saw a video. It was like an ad on like YouTube or Twitter. And it was a dude who had gotten some drones from uh, from Best Buy that were like Star Wars themed drones. But like the X-Wing one, the wings didn't move. It was always just flat. It never got to X. And I was like, this is lame. If you're going to build an X-Wing drone, you got you to gotta be able to lock the X-Foils in attack position. That's all I'm saying. And if you disagree with me, then you can go sec suck on a lemon. That's how I feel about it. Uh, some rebellions getting ready to happen. Some tech getting ready to happen. We got better infantry. Listen, shout outs to the Tu Fang Cheese, alright? That's a dope name. Tu Fang Cheese. Now they're just like South Indian infantry. It's nowhere near as fun. Um. Yeah, let's just go with the offensive dudes. That's how I like to roll. And let's bump up army maintenance. Because we're not going to be getting any more claims. At least not for a little while. And I think we've got enough. We've got enough uh, who's and what's it to enough money to sustain us. Enough manpower to sustain us. I would like to bump up stability to zero, though. Did I get those other heavies built? Yes, they're just hanging out over here. Political crisis. Lose one stab or 25 legitimacy. Um, I'll lose the legitimacy, I guess. Uh, neither one of them seems like a great option. I just have the explorer. I don't have an admiral. And let's go ahead and split those guys off. Alright, let's wait till the first of next month, I guess. General up. And... Arakan's gonna join in. That's not unsurprising. Don't have enough favors to get Tibet in. And... It's declared over Chanda. Oh, there's a fort in Chanda. Uh, both of them have one siege. Okay. 
you guys go ahead and hunt enemy fleets in the eastern Indian Ocean for a wee bit. Actually, you march up to there. You guys trail behind them. There is a 31 stack marching down on my on my dudes. I have more morale than they do. I did take a river crossing, which wasn't great. Not ideal of me. Same amount of discipline. They have more cannons. But, looks like we got there. And artillery combat ability from our general, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Although there goes uh, 10,000 manpower in that one fight. And of course the revolt spawns right now. Siege, perfect. Come in there, and then I'll spread out down over here. Oh, captured a flight ship. Fantastic. Oh, you know what I was never did that I was going to do? Uh, I need to give these guys some lands. They want... They expect to have 15%. So I need to give them 4%. Perfect. Watch that over there. And a second revolt started up. assimilation. Sweet action. And I didn't get a pop-up telling me that there was a battle happening. Which is one of my pet peeves. Thankfully we eked that one by this... eked, eked, eked by with that one with the skin of our teeth. That plus one missionary strength. Conquer Bikal. No, colonize Bikal. And conquer Mewar. Or the rival of our rival. Jampur? Yeah, they're never going to like us. I do like this Col Conquer Mewar mission, though. I need to knock these out while I've got that bonus, so let's do that. And we are negative manpower. If I did this, it would put them down to 31 loyalty, which isn't great. Just got rid of all my mercs. One more sea, and then we'll start exploring some coast. Um, grab navy. You're working on fixing him? Don't. Uh, go ahead and blockade enemy ports now in the eastern Indian Ocean. You can go protect trade in Celion, I believe. So we're protecting the trade at. You guys come back over here. I may end up combining these guys in with some other armies. You go ahead and retreat back. Never 
mind. Actually chill for a second. Let me get these reinforcements in. Zero manpower. Let me consolidate those guys together. Then pull out that infantry, another infantry. That cavalry, one cannon. Consolidate those guys together. What is the terrain here, jungle. Let them get locked in. score uh, conservative backlash it's just like they won't let me stop losing stability uh, our religious establishment doesn't feel the nation is properly sticking to the principles of principles of divine supremacy ten religious regiments rise up in Desh which is way the heck over here um Leave the cannons. Oh, that was not the button I wanted to push, but it's fine. Leave the cannons there, and we'll send these guys to dash. Dash. The whole freaking navy is just blockading air can. All right, let them rise up. Those were dealt with. About 10k men down from what they have. Let's see if I can finish the siege up. Alright, if I were to just take this stuff, which is all I. All I have to have in this war. I wouldn't mind taking more, though. Strong military leadership. Um, our recent wars have given rise to the competent leaders, even from the peasant stock. We could prosper from their skills, or we could reject them, as they are, after all, not noble. Accepting them may accept, uh, upset factions in our country, though. The Janagar needs them all, we lose one stability, or res res restrict the non-nobility, and we lose 20 army, tra army tradition, but they gain 10 loyalty. I'm going to do that, because that's going to let me do this, which is helpful. Uh, 
Um, do I want to take this? How much admin is just those four provinces worth? 207. So let's chill for a second on that. No. Would they accept that peace deal? Yes, they would. Would they accept war reparations? They would not. But they're not far away from it. Let's try to get some more reps out of it, too. reason away. I did take tech 11, right? Yes, I did. That would have been a little awkward if I hadn't. So I can get that right now. Couldn't get any more provinces. How are we doing in terms of strength? It's pretty even right now. I mean, I've got the technological advantage. I mean, how much land? All right, let's pretend I didn't take war reps, right? How much land could I take in this war if I wanted to? That, which is... 74 over uh, aggressive expansion, which no one really cares. 69% over extension. I've got the admin for it, though. I kind of like taking that much. Or I could scale it back. Two reasons away with that. Let's try Siege on this fort. Let's bring these guys in. And we can finally start exploring coast. Let's go explore. Mediterranean. Like, literally one more reason. Come on. Sixty-four percent, I believe. There we go. That should get us there. It does. Any more money? Yes. I will accept that. Well, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode right there. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, you know what? Wait, hold on. Am I going to go off? call it an episode right there? Yes, because I need cores. And I need stability three. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> well... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button down below, as well as subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. Do you think the game will allow me to get to 3 stability? The game seems to want me to be at negative 3 stability all the time. But anyways, once again, thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time.